Okay, your top three favorite Christmas movies. What are they? Man, I don't really know exactly, but I would say maybe like Christmas with the Cranks. I think that's hilarious. I okay, love. So that's number one. Number one, Home Alone. I just love Home Alone. Okay. And then I I like Elf. We already watched it so the Elf other is day. Three? Or would you rearrange? Oh, I don't know. Three? I don't know about rating them. Oh, okay. Maybe like I like Christmas with the Cranks. I feel like that might be number one for really? me. Really? Wow. Might be. Yeah, I'd say in in the order I said them. Okay. Um, what are your top three favorite Christmas foods? Pumpkin pie. We had we had pumpkin pie at Christmas. Now I don't think everyone does, but for me that's number one. My mom's pumpkin pie. Okay. Not store bought. Yeah, of course. And then number two, it depends on where we're spending Christmas, because. I think for my family, we would often do Stouffer's lasagna, which sounds so strange, but I for love Christmas. Stouffer's lasagna. It's okay. very good. But, uh, it was something we Christmas did. Christmas food? Well, wow. that's what we would do. Okay. A lot. Or we Is would that do... a Christmas dinner? That's Christmas dinner every... Uh, lunch. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it was, it was pretty good. So if you have a Stouffer's lasagna in like July, do you think of Christmas? Does no. it take you there? I don't think so. Okay. No. And then... What else? What's another good food? Um, I mean, I'm thinking like cookies, Christmas cookies. I don't like cookies that much. Really? I'm not allowed to say that. I don't really prefer cookies. So I like a coffee drink with like cinnamon Mm -hmm. and all the warm spices. That's my thing. Skiing or sledding? Skiing. Do you want to go outside and build a snowman or stay in and watch a movie? Let's get out and build a snowman. And then watch a movie afterwards. Yes. You love Christmas. And I you're all about love it. it. It's my favorite holiday ever because it is so festive. It's so much fun. And most importantly, it is focusing on Jesus, which I'm always so amazed at how many Christmas songs, even still today with a lot of people may not really hold to traditional Christian values or they might not even be believers, but there are Christmas songs that we sing um, all across the world. And I think that's really cool. So I'm always listening in stores and I'm like, that's amazing. Right. They're singing about Jesus. They're singing about Christ's birth. Yeah. I love how it. How he comes to re- redeem us from our sin, rescue yeah. us from our sin. That's always cool. So we, we've, with our kids, tried to keep the main thing, the main thing on Christmas. Yeah. But also enjoying all the festivities and stuff like that let's talk about santa because we always get questions about talk about jared's santa. sweater right now hold on just show them your sweater yeah. for a second you, well you've this got santa doing amazing. a marathon so this is kind of like i really santa, love it yeah but he's still got the cookies but it, i think it's it's milk well i think it's water instead of milk, it's, milk. I don't know. it's gotta be milk so it's like he's kind of trying to get fit but <laughs> he has a fanny um, pack full of cookies <laughs> yeah. that's so yeah. funny as he runs oh, the I didn't marathon even that. There's yeah a it's pack as he cookies. runs yeah. the marathon that's funny. So do we do Santa? I mean, what if, how have we done that with the kiddos? Yeah. Felicity always tells me that, um, like the song where he says, he sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. <clears throat> she tells me, mom, you got to change that song because Santa, Santa doesn't know that. Only God knows that. So like she's very, very like literal. And I mean, right. we haven't yeah. been like telling her all of that. That's just how she processes we haven't, stuff. We haven't presented Santa as like the satanic figure. Of yeah. Like, no. Um, although I think some, sometimes he can like, there's some attributes given to Santa in some of those songs that, where you're like, yes, hey, wait a where second. it's like that, that's yeah, yeah. not right. But I feel like there's, it can be so harmless for people to like do Santa with their kids. I don't feel like it's, it's necessarily yeah. like wrong. Um, we just haven't like told them that Santa's bringing right, their right, gifts right. or anything. So they enjoy um, like Santa decorations. They, and love, they love Santa decorations. Yeah. I have my Santa coffee mug and Felicity uses it right. for Driving hot around chocolate. the neighborhoods and they scream yeah. Santa. Yeah. Evie, yeah. that was like one of her, her words that she said first. I mean, she said a couple words and then she would say, Santa. Right. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so we can enjoy it without having all the connotations of what some people would say. Like, I don't know how it takes away from Christmas. Because right. we want to do, we do, I mean... Any opportunity we have to celebrate Christ, whether it's right. Easter and his resurrection or Christmas and his birth, even, you know, though people have opinions about it, we, we take all those opportunities to celebrate Christ. Totally. And yeah. enjoy that. For sure. Uh, along with the season and all that comes with it. Like eggnog. I'm a big eggnog guy. But. You 
have the fridge stocked with eggnog. I think right now we have like four gallons because we had oh, terrible. We had a Christmas party, and I think we failed to bring that out. So maybe like at one point there was like no, I have a no little problem. Carton. I have so no problem like with stock. the extra. It's eggnog. insane. Yeah. Um, okay, so Christmas morning for you is a special morning. Uh, mm-hmm. Get us into the mind of little ginger, six-year-old ginger yeah. on a Christmas morning. What What are you feeling when? When you wake up. I would hardly sleep at all at night. Really? Wake up early in the morning when it was still dark. Yeah. Go downstairs, all the Christmas lights. They'd turn on all the Christmas lights. And we would go wake our parents up. And and then they would come downstairs and we would all open our gifts. Usually it was chaos because we'd all open our gifts at the same time. And um, as time went on, we realized like, yeah, it's not as special. So we started opening them one at a time. And it was also kind of crazy because we'd all buy each other gifts for so many years. So if that meant we need to go to the dollar store, I'd buy each of my siblings a gift Sheesh. from the How dollar store. How many siblings did you have to the point? Because you, you don't do that anymore. You had to stop because it got oh, too much. I, I feel like we did that until maybe they were like 17, 18. We oh, wow. were almost all the way up until that time, as far as I remember. And so it was so crazy because it was just like, chaos you know you'd have gifts everywhere and it was just a lot of fun um and then we decided we should each just pick one name and buy a gift for that individual person but my parents would still buy gifts for each one of us and make it very special that's cool and then you guys would run downstairs and yeah we'd run downstairs usually we'd see like my parents had these gift bags which were like stockings for Mm -hmm. us but they were filled with like every year we'd get a jar of pickles that was the main thing. We get like a huge jar of Vlasic pickles. Each um, one of you? Yeah. Each one of us would oh, have wow. it and it would have our name on it. One year they bought like a five gallon bucket of pickles and put it in the fridge. And that was like a thing because they were like the the more expensive kind. They're like kosher dill. Really, really good. Um, kind of like a Clawson pickle, right? Yeah, yeah. It was those and it was from a restaurant and they would buy that and we'd each get like however many pickles and they would do that with like our favorite pretzels from sam's club and they would like say you can each have three pretzels out of the freezer they would do stuff like that for our stockings and then they'd have it filled with like whatever our favorite thing was for me it was pringles which were very special for us to get we wouldn't get a lot of those snacks or junk food so it was the pizza pringles i love those do you still love pizza pringles i don't think so so you I just, I mean, I wouldn't mind them, but it's not I've never like, caught you snacking on Pringles. No. So we're heading back. We're in Pennsylvania this year for Christmas. And uh, how, I mean, we've got two little girls, Felicity and Evie at five and three. And with an overzealous grandma who likes to feed them and give them a lot of sugar. How are we going to control our kids' sugar intake? Oh, I... I mean, we all do our best. Grandma's really good too about making sure they get healthy food. Um, it's but just she, tough. But she does have a problem saying no to the yeah. It's the tough. Requests. I think there will be more sugar over the holidays, and you just have to you just have to get ready for it. I think to counterbalance it, you just have to make sure that they're super active, able to get outside, go to a park, and run off some energy because it gets a little crazy. So for the last few years, you have been wanting to do a family Christmas card. Yeah. And I don't know why it didn't happen, but this year you made sure it happened. Yeah, just about every year I think, oh, it would be so great to do a family Christmas card because I love getting people's Christmas cards in the Oh, mail. they're all right behind you. It's my favorite. Oh, yeah, we have a whole wall of them. Yeah. Um, and I will keep them up all year. For me, that says that's the start of the Christmas season is when you open your mailbox and you have like three Christmas cards every couple days. Love that. And I felt so bad that I was never sending them out. And I always wanted to. So this year, I started early. I started in like maybe the beginning of November, um, planning like getting the photographer to get us our photos. And then I started collecting addresses and got all those together. It was like 200 addresses, a lot. And then you send them out. And once it's done, you feel like so great. And I was so happy with how the photos turned out. Um, It's really cute because in our photo this year, um, we're like smiling, looking at the camera and um, 
Felicity is as well. And then Evie's just kind of like, Deadpan. she's just there, just looking <laughs> kind of with a stare. Yeah. And that's just, that's our girls. That's Evie. It just, it just shows you like Felicity is always posing for the camera. And then Evie's just like staring. So I love it. Yeah, that was fun. I'm glad you did that. It's great. And then just to like have those photos, we hadn't done like professional family photos in a while. So it's good to like have that. It'll be fun to look at it. Um, hopefully each year we can get it done. Yeah. And then we'll just have that as memories for our family moving forward. And you kind of kicked off what might become a neighborhood tradition. Ooh, yeah. So talk about that because, uh, yeah, talk about what you did and then there's been a response to it. It was really cool. So I just thought about, man, wouldn't it be cool to give Christmas gifts to each of our neighbors? And then we we ended up going to a couple stores, found these super cute um, Christmas boxes, and we grabbed a couple of those, and then we got like a candle, Christmas dish towel, some chocolates, and candy canes, and then there was something else in there too, um, cookies, Christmas cookies, and we put them all in that box and then we delivered them to our neighbors with our christmas card and just told them thank you for being the best neighbors and delivered them well then the next couple days at our doorstep we had gifts coming to us (laughs) so our neighbors are returning the favor which is just so sweet um and they're they're bringing us christmas gifts which is just so thoughtful um, and not with the plan. The plan no, wasn't to give No, we were not back. planning on that. Like I did not expect it right. at all. And so um, I keep opening the door and there's another gift and it's just so thoughtful. Yeah. Yeah. But it's fun because this is the season where I feel like a lot of people, if you are busy throughout the year, this is the season to connect with people, your yeah. neighbors, friends, loved ones around. Slow down. Think about yeah. others. Everybody's really sweet. running all over the place. Uh, I love that idea. And that was really sweet. And it was cool to see how excited Felicity was. And Evie didn't totally get it, but Felicity was like jumping up and down at every oh, door. She was stoked. She was Loved so excited. It was her favorite. Yeah. And it's a good way too to just teach the kids that it's it's better to give than to receive. And I think that um, it can be tough at those younger ages where it is like very special. You want them to look forward to getting Christmas gifts. But it's another way just to share, like to be able to share with others and to give to them. Yeah. We hope all of you guys have a wonderful Christmas and enjoy it with your families. And we will be eating a lot of uh, less than healthy foods. I'll be drinking (laughs) a lot of eggnog. And so hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching, guys.